Hey, this is Chris from Essential SQL, and welcome to another episode of SQL Minute. In this episode, we're going to go over the union operator. And to do so, I'm going to use some table variables. So check out my previous episode on those to learn more. And let's get started. So I'm going to create two table variables, one for car and one for truck. And we're going to use this to work with our union. So essentially, a union allows us to uh, take rows from one result and add them to rows from another. And what, I'll just show you what we're going to try to do here. So if I do a, like a select um, color from at truck, and then I'm going to do another select statement. I'm going to do color from at car. When I run this, we're going to get two results. Okay. So you can see I got a result here for the trucks and I got one for my cars. So the trick is, is I want to actually combine these results together. I'm not going to do a join because if I did a join I'd have two columns. I want to combine the rows. All right, And to do that I can use the union operator. So if you see here, I literally, let me get this out of the way added a union in between the two results that we're going to get back. Now let's see what happens. Notice how instead of having two separate results, now it's one result. And it also includes the colors from our tables. So one thing to notice here is red. And you're going to just see red once in the result because I, I used the union. Now if I want to see both rows representing red, what I could do is use union all. Okay, and when I do this, notice how I have red and then red. So the main difference between union and union all is, is that union will bring back the distinct rows from the uh, both results where union all brings back every row. So there are a couple of rules you need to follow when using the union operator. One is, is that the data types need to be the same so and the number of columns so I could bring back select let's say like ID color and then I could do intensity color and this should work because I have the number of columns the same but it's gonna fail because intensity is a ver care whereas ID is an integer and it's not this SQL is not going to be able to make the jump from um, changing the ver care from a float type value to an integer and it should come back and say that I have incompatible data types so when I run this query you can see that it will not bring back a result because it can't convert the ver care to a integer however if I was to take the intensity here and say uh, I'll do cast. We'll leave this as a character and I'm going to do a cast on this. ID as float. Now it will work. And what's happening here is it, is it took the, the ID for the 1 and made it like 1.0 and then intensity, even though it's a ver care, it was able to implicitly convert it to a float to make it happen. So really, if I was doing this at, and I wanted to be sure that thing's going to work, I would change this to a float as well. And now I have my the same number of rows and data types in my query. So the last thing I want to show is how you can sort your queries results. So I'm going to go back to just the color and do an order by. So one thing I can do is say order by color. right? And what we're going to get now is a ordered set of our results by color. And you may be going, how come there's two blues? right? Well that's because we're using union all, remember. So if I take the union the all part off the union and run it. Now I only get the unique colors and now they're in order. So, so that's just a real quick lesson on how to use union and 
it's I think a really good one. Uh, the secret sauce being that it's one of the few operators that allows you to combine rows together and enjoy the day.